Love is such a hard thing to deal with. OD and on marijuana. Inside your bitch, has she fucked me like no tomorrow? This borrow love, get us through the night and this save us sorrow. Cause yesterday I couldn't tell the difference with Cupid's arrow opinionators. Can't see my vision, I'm innovator. I innovated my music, I took it like elevator up. Your elevator stuck, my situation is major. Avoiding the small talk. Alfred Sears um, is a young dude, man, still trying to find his way in a crazy world. Uh, that's really how I see it, man, you know? Um, I'm passionate about music. You know, this is what we do. This is what I do. Um, you know, I'm just a, I can't even explain what type of nigga I am, really, you know? It's just, it, I feel like it bleeds through my music, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's really who I am. I can't explain it, you know? You just got to hear me. You know what I mean? But you hear it, and you'll know. I'm from Danbury, Connecticut. Small city, um, right outside of fucking uh, Bruce in New York. You know what I mean? Coming up 84. Um, can't even explain what type of place it is. It's like that small city, small town type, big town type of place, you know? Where everybody know everybody. And, Everybody's doing something they shouldn't be doing type of shit. But um yeah, that's where I'm from man, you know. I, I feel like I, I got a good uh I play the where I'm from it gives me a good understanding of what it is to have that city feel, you know, that up tempo type pace. And uh, you know, at the same time, you know, know what it's like to be from, you know, a suburban area, no suburban people and shit like that. Started making music. Uh, I, I really don't even know how. Um, you know, a couple of me and my niggas back in the day, we'd be fucking rapping and spitting, and listening to music, and you know, reciting other rappers' bars. You know what I'm saying? Or other niggas' bars. You know, at those times it was like, you know, Pac and Big and Jay and Diddy and all those dudes at the time. You know, late '90s, early 2000 rap. But um, yeah, man, I, I can't really say how, but. It just started from just, you know, listening to the music, picking it up, and having a love and a passion for the shit. My favorite rapper, my favorite rapper is Jay-Z, hands down. Um, why? I, you know, he's just dope, man. I, I fuck with Ho for a lot of reasons. But, um, you know, I, I always felt like I could relate to Dude, you know what I'm saying? Even at a young age, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I could relate to Dude. Um, the type of background, you know, saying I got, you know, it's just like, um, you know, like a semi-street dude, you know, more the hustler type, you know, getting money type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I think that's where I really, you know, fell victim to like Hov's lyrics and stuff, because he was like that hustling type dude, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like I could really relate to it, you know, being out there, you know, all times of the night, and, you know, just doing the type of shit, you know, young niggas do, you know what I'm saying? And, trying to get on, move forward in life type shit, you know, them, them days become nights. I don't know, I've always just painted that picture, you know, especially from Reasonable Doubt on. So I think, I think that's how he really grabbed me, you know, and as the years went on, I just felt like everything he was saying was kind of something I was living, you know, so that, that's why I hope I would say is my favorite rapper of all time. The first album I ever bought was was uh, the Puff Daddy and the Family, I think. That was the first one I copped um, with Victory and all that shit on it. That was the first shit, yeah, definitely with my own money. Um, at that time, it was killing shit, so, you know, that's really what that was. You know, Big had just passed and Diddy and all them were coming out. Mace was killing it. You know, it was just a logical thing to do. You know, I was a big fan of Bad Boy, and I think everybody was at that time. They were just on top of the game. That was the first album I bought. Um, I'm gonna have him walk out, you know what I'm saying? Or actually have him get the roof, first of all. 
because that's just some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Have him getting me walk out the doors onto the street as soon as you step out of Grand Central because right. that's like a whole different world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, you, when you. you step out of that building, that's when, you the, step, you yeah, that that's when it hits you and you're just like, damn. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. cars all around people and you're like, damn, like I'm in the city. Yeah. Previous projects, um, all, all, my last projects, my last like four or five projects, they all been recorded here at Hat City Studios. You know, um, so it's been they've been more personal, more personal projects. They've been projects. You know, before that, I was just rapping basically. You know what I'm saying? Just studio to studio, or wherever we could record at. You know, just making music. You know, spitting bars. You know, at that time, that's all it really was. And then um, Robots and Skylines was basically like, that was like the project that really uh, catapulted us to like the point of thinking like, yo, we could really make some serious music, you know, not just making mixtapes and just rapping, like we could really make some serious music. And um, I think that's what we did, you know, and it caught on, it caught on, Robots and Skylines really caught on. And then we dropped 1.5. And uh, 1.5 came out last September. It's basically like around the same time as um, you know, Faded Dreams about to drop like a year later, which is my upcoming project. Uh, but yeah, you know, the tape series is basically like, you know, that's when I want to be on my mixtape shit, you know, and just spitting bars, dropping bars, and um, you know, just rapping over other niggas' beats, you know, doing the shit niggas do. And you know, and that's really it, man. You know, at, the, at this point, you know, I'm just focusing on what's ahead of me. You know, I've been trying to build a catalog and I feel like it's behind me. So I'm trying to leave it there. But it has been a good process. Upcoming projects right now, I got Faded Dreams, which is going to come up. It's about to drop uh, September 24th. And um, it's just a project that I've just really been invested in. You know what I'm saying? Um, really put a lot of my time into and uh, took it, you know, tried to take to a whole nother level, you know, just with the music, the whole thought process, the content, you know, production, just in every way, shape, or form, you know, it's me trying to, uh, you know, basically just shed my old skin and just become a new, not a new artist, but a more improved version of myself. So, um, yeah, Faded Dreams, it's, it's the motivation, man. That's, that's where we're going. Faded Dreams is, uh, I want to say it's like a, it's a compilation of songs that explain my life. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot more personal than all my other projects. It's uh, more like life experience. You know, shit that you see, shit that you pick up, you know, just from everyday life and shit. And, um, you know, I even try to take it a couple places, you know, political point of views or, you know, you know, all the bullshit niggas talk about, you know, Illuminati, secret society, you know, all that type of shit. You know, shit, knowledge that's just gained. I try to, uh, you know, take all of that and really channel it and put it into word form, something that I've, I've kind of always had not a problem with doing, but feeling like that I can't say exactly what I want to say. I feel like with this project, I was able to do that. I was really able to capture, you know, the, the exact thought process and everything that I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? And take that feeling and, and convert it into music. You know, and that's that's really what Faded Dreams is. It's, it's a compilation of dreams, you know, fading, you know, and just trying to rap, you know, and put them on wax, you know, for people to understand. That's, that's what it is. It's crazy how I came up with the fucking name. The name, <laughs> I came up with the name like two years ago. Um, yo, honestly, I woke up at like seven o'clock in the morning one day. Like I, I remember the whole fucking day, and um, I woke up and I, I had the same. In the same night, I had the idea for like three mixtape names. It was like Robots and Skylines, Fallen Sky, and Faded Dreams. Fallen Sky, I like I ended up abandoning that name because it was a couple other projects came out by other artists. And, you know, just me being a competitor, I just don't like to have anything the same as somebody who's already dropped something. So, you know, we're being in that. But uh, Robots and Skylines, we ended up running with. I swear, I woke up from a dream one night and I had like the crazy, the crazy premonition for like three mixtape names. I was just like, yo, it just came to me. Like, I can't even remember the dream. Like, I can't remember exactly what happened. But 
and I got up and it was just right there, like right on the edge of my tongue, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Robots and Skylines we ended up using, you know, that was like the first, first major project, you know, that really catapulted things. Like I said, and um, you know, in Faded Dreams, I've been sitting on ever since, you know what I mean, two years ago. Like I said, that name, um, because I felt like it was going to be something special. I felt like it was my, not my end all be all, but something that I would base my end all be all off of, you know what I mean? You know, just investing everything into that, you know what I mean? And um, that's how I came up with this shit, just on some bullshit, waking up at fucking night, or waking up in the fucking morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, and yo, Robots and Skylines, Faded Dreams, like. I didn't know it would take two years to put it out, but we here. What can you expect? You know, Faded Dreams is... I think what you can expect is exactly what the title says. You know what I'm saying? You could expect a, a dude who's not down on his luck, but definitely questioning, you know, where he's going in his life. and what he plans to do and like if this music shit is ever really gonna work out you know what I'm saying and just finding myself as a man as a person you know what I'm saying and continuing and going forward and, and and being a musician being an artist you know what I'm saying and taking everything to the next level I think that's what you could expect from that is growth you know what I'm saying it's a growth process and um just better music man like I said the production is up lyrics are up um you know promotion is up you know, we we got the feet, you know, we got Jit on the track, we got Jigs the Flyer, a lot of familiar Connecticut artists too, you know what I'm saying, dudes that I work very close with. And um and I and I feel like the songs that I did with them personally are the best songs that, you know, we've done too. You know, so it's like everything as a whole, it just came together kinda crazy. And um I think what you could expect is just greatness. Anyway, that's how I see it, you know what I'm saying? And I, I hope that, you know, people can feel the same way about the project, you know, feel like they could relate to it. Because um that's what it is. You know, it's gonna be yeah. every night, count every star, hiding in a kite, wishing I was far with all of my people. With all of my people. It's your boy Alpha Tear, and this has been a Womp World motherfucking exclusive. Faded Dreams, September 24th. Make sure you cop that.